tonight Detroit, Michigan has been waiting three decades to enjoy. Tonight, inside Ford Field, it's the first home playoff game since 1994 for the NFC North champion, Detroit Lions. Led by their quarterback, Jared Goff, who tonight faces who else but the man he replaced and the one who replaced him. Super Bowl champion Matthew Stafford and the Los Angeles Rams in this Sunday night NFC wild card game and what a wild scene it is in downtown Detroit. Good evening Mike Tirico, Chris Collinsworth, Melissa Stark. This is somehow generational anticipation out here tonight. Rams won the toss to for the option the second half. Lions are going to receive. Craig Reynolds awaits. Ethan Evans kicks off. Welcome to an NFL playoff game in Detroit. Reynolds, let's go. The Lions are going to take over at the 25. Here's their offense. Practice on Friday in the lineup to start. The first run is Montgomery. And Montgomery right near the line for a first down at the 35-yard line behind that good old line. One we're going to watch the most closely just showed up on the first play of the game there. Sam Laporta, who was injured last week, comes through. Good block on Ernest Jones and jump start this offense with a good run. If they can take pressure off of Jared Goff early, just so valuable. 80, was it? The 35, Goff throws for the first time. It is caught. It's Jamison Williams. Stumbles right around the 40-yard line, gain of five. Aaron Donald, the future Hall of Famer. First down for Goff, play action. Middle shot is caught <laughs> on the run. Terrific hands by Josh Reynolds. Former Ram to former Ram to the 30-yard line of the first down, Detroit. Woohoo! That was a throw. You're going to see in the space right in here, watch all the protection, first of all. Perfect. But that is a little tiny window with people flying around, and you didn't know how Jared Goff was going to react out here, right? Yeah, they had a couple of good runs there, but he has come out firing early. And seven of their first five plays. And flip it out to their top receiver, Amon Ross. St. Brown takes it into the red zone. First down to Detroit at the 18, Ernest Jones with the tackle, the top tackler on the Rams team. He's the motion man from the 18. Goff going back to the air, five options, comes to the tight end, Laporta, out of bounds right around the 11-yard line with Kobe Durant there in coverage. If the Rams don't get more pressure than this, they are going to lose badly in this game. They do drop out, so a four-man rush, they're sitting up there with that five-man line. The belief is, if you get pressure on Jared Goff, he will make mistakes, right? We've all heard that a million times. So far, no pressure on Jared Goff. Way to the opening drive. Goff, slam, caught inside the five. Reynolds to the two. First and goal, Lions. What an opening drive. Right back to Montgomery. To the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Every run has been to this side of the offensive line. They are just dominating up front, and Panay Sewell and this offensive line, even against Aaron Donald, getting a push back into the end zone with that double team. Fantastic drive to start things off for the Detroit Lions. Michael Badgley is their kicker. His extra point is good. The <laughs> Cup joins him. Stafford looks that way. Flips it towards the back end complete. Now it's Anzalone there in coverage. Aiden Hutchinson, who has been red hot down the stretch with the late pressure. It took Cooper Cup a minute to get open, and that was all that Hutchinson needed on the outside to end up with a little bit of pressure. And it was just enough to make Stafford throw it away. Third and goal.
Pressure on. Stafford gets rid of it. Deflected and incomplete. Nearly intercepted. Aaron Glenn lights it up with pressure. Ball deflected as Stafford got rid of it. Field goal attempt coming for the Rams. He is, since the year he got here and they lost those games, is how tough his team played. Right to the air again, Goff, and hit back to Reynolds. Right over the 39 yard line as he got hit and popped with a flag down, back by the quarterback. Greg Rolstep. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense, number 31. It's a 15 yard penalty out of the end of the play. Automatic. That's on Nick Hampton. Yeah, pretty easy call here. Not only the late hit, but then the sling down after that. Seven per. Go right back to the air on first down. Goff throws it inside. It's caught once again. Gibbs, his elusiveness on display as he takes it to the 33. Gain of 14, and the chains move for a ninth first down. Good job by Jared Goff here. Aaron Donald for the first time in this game got a one on one and got immediate pressure inside. And Goff did not panic here at all. Stood in there, got it to his check down. And so, what we saw on the first drive, Mike, is David Montgomery played every snap all the way down. Come back this time, it's Jameer Gibbs. And that adds a little element of speed now to this offense for the Lions. They are the three. Goff stretch it. start for Josh Reynolds. They try to go a little stunt inside with Aaron Donald. It doesn't get there. And Josh Reynolds, this isn't a really overly fast guy. He's not overly big. But you can tell this game means something extra to him. He and Jared Goff, the former Rams, have now gotten to the point where they are making the big plays out here. Josh Reynolds, 20 explosives out of 40 catches this year. Give you some idea. Gibbs up the middle to the end zone. Another Detroit touchdown. this double team right here. Up to the double team, to the next level. Huge gaping hole inside. This has been easy so far for the Lions. How will they continue to do against Nakua and Cup as the Rams try to come back down 11. Stafford stumbles. Touchdown. Hutchinson does it at the 18. on the turf and this crowd may go crazy. They had Eminem and the music playing and the beat rocking. This is out of control in here. But he made some kind of throw of 19 to set up his first down. Harry Williams, nothing, lost him a yard. Anzalone and Campbell, the tackle. <laughs> the trophy of the victory cigar winning the Super Bowl with the Rams. David Montgomery is the Lions continue to pound the Rams. Gain of 11 in a first down. Well, so they finally come back the other way here, but it's going to be the key block right here on the linebacker inside that made the difference. Ernest Jones, that linebacker, is the heartbeat of this defense. And if they can ever get a pass rush established and stop this run, he'll be a key contributor. Right back to the run inside again. Easy four or five yards. There for Montgomery and Ernest Jones one more time to tackle. Rams now bringing eight in the box down there, trying to stop the run. So Goff goes up top and he completes yet another one to the 45 yard line. Wrestled away by Jamison Williams. Oh, that's significant. So you got the speedster now who is starting to develop as a little bit of a route runner. And for the first play with nothing gained for the Lions tonight, they go back up top and gain some yardage with Reynolds. He gets hit hard at the back end of the play. An illegal there, ruled on the field, gain of five. He was a runner there. 
third and five coming up. You never know when that whistle blew exactly. The forearm would be the thing they could call in that situation. With third and five. Four got that time, and he's got a first down. St. Brown wrestled that ball away from Witherspoon. That is the toughness of Amon Ross St. Brown, a guy who's just gotten better and better and better each of his three years in the league. When we talk about angry runs. How about an angry catch? Watch the way St. Brown just wrestles this one away. He is big, he's strong, he's got powerful legs and he has been the clutch target. But look at what they've done already here. They've established, established the run. Now they swing it out and get it into the hands of the speed. Jameer Gibbs with a great move in space. Gibbs takes it to the 11-yard line. Again, no pressure on golf, but the Rams, if they're going to have a chance to win this game, they got to tackle better than this. They've yeah. got to be able to tackle these guys in space. Not easy. St. Brown's tough. Jamison Williams is tough. Uh, Jameer Gibbs probably the toughest, but they have to tackle better south since. The quarter lined up in the backfield, and they switch it out here. Fourth and a long yard. Two for the touchdown. Goff looking to throw. Throws back to the end zone. LaPorta! Touchdown Detroit again. Drops out in coverage more than any other sort of outside linebacker. But trust me, Michael Hoyt is not going to cover that guy, bad knee or not. Sam Laporta with a monster year for a rookie. Michael Badgley adds the extra point. Other side, you've got Jared Goff trying to prove that this is his team now. Jameer Gibbs in the running game is giving him more than Stafford's getting out of the running game as he gains 11 yards out to the 30. Six yard line. A couple of plays for the Lions. Almost a delay of game there. They set up the screen. See what Gibbs can get back. Oh, a lot more than it looked like as Jones had him by the ankle and brings him down at the 31 yard line. Wow, what a story today. Third and 15 here for the Lions and Goff, who sets. Goes downfield complete to St. Brown for a big first down at the Rams 45. Give this offensive line credit. That was Aaron Donald who's going to come around on a stunt here, and he got stuck. So there was no pressure whatsoever, and that allowed Jared Goff to just sit there and wait for his receiver, St. Brown, to get open down the field. The Rams have to do a better job with this pressure. And they got him. They got the jump with Jones. The hard count. Oh. Looks like that he's coming for false start first. So it says false start, and not Jones in the neutral zone. False start, offense, number 68. Five-yard penalty, fourth down. And now the punt unit will come on. Taylor Decker. Well, there was a flinch initially that was not across the line, but then it was Ernest Jones who did jump into the neutral zone. Mm. Terry, you want to weigh in? It, it sure looks to me, Chris, that, that the defense jumped before the offensive yeah. moves, and it should have been neutral zone infraction. I mean, I can see where they might get confused by the fact that the first movement did oh. not get into the neutral zone, but the offensive line definitely reacted to the second. No question. Yeah. And that's huge, Mike. That's now you're going to give the Rams a chance to go take the lead here. Yeah, that's a bad call and a bad spot. An important point of the game. Mistake there, no doubt, by the official. Box kicks, travel, fair catch at the 10. As we welcome you back to Super Wild Card Weekend, presented by Verizon. First three games, the average margin was 22 points. This one much tighter. Four point game as we head to the second half. Mike Tirico, Chris Collinsworth, Melissa Stark down on the sideline. Frigid night outside. Warm and toasty in here. 
figures to heat up in the second half. Jack Fox kicks. Austin Travel lets it go. Back up top. Pulls it down. Hutchinson has him. As he was trying to escape, he's going to set up third and long. Five catches, most for any lion. Third and six. Pressure comes. Open around St. Brown. Stays in bounds. And goes down around the 45 yard line. So their big receiver comes up with a 30 yarder on third down. Kello Weatherspoon out here is the guy, when he's in bump and run, if you're going to beat him, you beat him off the line of scrimmage. You saw the move by St. Brown there and made an easy throw down the field for Goff. Watch how quick he is getting off this line of scrimmage and creating that kind of easy separation for Goff. Former player really connects with his players. Second and nine for Goff. St. Brown in the middle of the field. Goes down to the 30-yard line. And St. Brown getting cooking here in this second half. They're creating space over here and trying to isolate the outside linebacker, Michael Hoyt, in space. And if you think a cornerback can slow down St. Brown, you can forget about it with Michael Hoyt out there. No offense, but a guy that size trying to go one-on-one -on -one against one of the best receivers in the game. Impossible. Badgley was on the practice squad, kept kicking, kept kicking, put the pressure on, but you see, over 50 has not been good. And this is 54. Badgley. Got it. Ronnie Rivers remains the back. With the motion and the give to Nakua, stretched out. Hutchinson started it, finished off by the corner, Vildor. That was a great play that time by Vildor. He could have been trapped down in here, but he escaped and went out and set the edge and turned this thing back in to his teammates. Tremendous play there. Loss of two sets up third and 12 for a first down, 13 for a touchdown. 80, what's that? The UNC, the unaffiliated neurotrauma consultant, is in there looking at Stafford at the moment, as well as the athletic training staff, we're told, as Amon Ross St. Brown with the catch to the 35 yard line, a gain of 10. And the 13. Williams inside. What will happen in the red zone this time around? Lions have had a couple of red zone stops already. Stop there, and now. Play continues with pushing back behind it. Officials get in and separate them. Second down. Not getting anything done in the red zone. They snap quick. Stafford scans. Throws towards Cup. Can't bring it in. C.J. Gardner Johnson was there in coverage. Field goal unit out. And a red zone stop again for Detroit. So three possessions now inside the red zone and no touchdowns out of it. Cooper Cup coming out of the backfield. They got the one-on-one -on -one against the safety and just could not hit it. It may be coming a little too predictable that they're throwing the cup in the red zone. The offense that was rolling in the first half has not been in the second half. Good run by David Montgomery. Just over five yards outside the 30. It'll bring up third and four. See how safe the Rams play because the Lions run punt fakes as much as anyone. So it gives Fox time to take his time and unload a bomb. Fair part of the 10 by Trammell, who then went to run afterwards. And then finally stops. Also had a sweaty palm moment there. 59 on the kick with almost five seconds of hang time. That's to go. Third and four. Lions bring four. Hutchinson. Couldn't get to Stafford, who throws it to Rivers, who loses a yard. Maybe two. There's a flag down back by the quarterback. Boy, this is going to be a tough call here, right? Holding. Offense. Number 79. The 10 yard penalty, third down. Do you like? Third and 14. 
Stafford steps up, throws inside. Nakua incomplete with a ton of contact. No call and fourth down. And the Rams send out will leave the punting unit. Yes. A little grab of the jersey yep. on the back end of it that they did get away with it, and that would have been a first down had it been called. That was both. It's the pull and the wrap around the waist. After the gain of three, they will throw out of the backfield. Montgomery works past Hoyt, gets a big first down, stays in bounds at the 31-yard line. Point in coverage. Montgomery takes advantage. First down, Detroit. Oh, what a play by David Montgomery to accelerate and then stop and create the first of those first downs, Mike, that you were talking about. Get the ball to a veteran player. He came over from Chicago, and he has just paid huge dividends. Off the line. Three and five. Goss going to throw, and it's caught by St. Brown for a first down. Timeout Rams, 152 to go. Game is not over yet, but it's very, very close. First of all, gutsy call here. And who's surprised by it with Dan Campbell, right? Unbelievable. But that route was a little slice of brilliance right there by St. Brown. At the very end of the route, he went into the defender to almost gain rebound position, come back to the ball, and man, I tell you what, when your head coach believes in your ability to make that pass, all the things that Dan Campbell has done to build Jared Goff's confidence, when he came out in that moment, no, we're not running it twice and punting it. I'm putting it in my quarterback's hands. He's ready for that moment, and he got it done. There's a term around here, SOL. Same old Lions. They always find a way to screw it up. And Dan Campbell changed that mentality, changed that with the people who brought in. They've lost their last nine playoff appearances. And it's a team that believes in themselves. And they didn't have a great second half, but this will be one of the most memorable nights in Detroit football for that 89-year-old and the 62,000 others here. One more knee and business is done. And Detroit, for the first time in 32 years, your Lions have won a playoff game. Have at it.